Well, the rain over the weekend is the most the valley's seen since June. The city's hit hardest then are making sure they're prepared this time around. Channel 5's Valerie Gonzalez spoke with Mercedes City leaders to find out what they're doing differently. Under the threat of a silver sky, Mercedes firefighters sprawled out their equipment on the floor. We're taking off all our inventory. Oh, we're making sure that we have adequate life vests, your backboards. They're checking the fire engine spark plugs, counting the rescue ropes, and checking what helped them rescue dozens, their boat. Just by going street to street, taking people out, you're looking about over 300 just in this city. When June's rain arrived, Mercedes Fire Chief Udesta says few knew what to expect. Nobody was prepared for that much water and so, much, so little time. The rescue truck from 1997 gave out. This week, they're making room for improvements. As far as military trucks, uh, we did lose one during the flood. And Texas Forest Service, we went through a grant and we should be receiving one tomorrow. City manager Sergio Savala tells us they're also buying a second rescue vehicle for $6,000. Another priority was to ensure floodgates are not locked like last time. So all the gates were open uh, last night. Some improvements will take longer. Water pulled near the emergency shelter dome in June. A solution for that problem is in the works. As you're approaching it from the expressway northward, uh, there are some junctures that perhaps we can go ahead and Im improve this storm system, and this is what that is designed for. The project will focus on revamping the inlets, curbs, and gutters near the Vermont and Hidalgo intersection. That's south of the dome. The seven to eight week construction project is scheduled to start this week if weather doesn't delay it. Valerie Gonzalez, Channel 5 News at 10.